My purpose in life was to reach perfection, to be valued and to be known and to be loved. I was very critical of myself and I had to be better than everyone else in all the activities that I was involved in. I tried creating these labels for other people to use, ways in which I wanted to be described as. I had created a good name for myself and all of my value and worth was wrapped up into what other people were saying was true about, true about me. And I wanted to be known as someone who had it all, um, that had their life together, that knew what they were doing with their future. Um, I was in a committed relationship and I thought that my future was secure and I took comfort in that. Um, I thought that I had this perfect life laid out for myself. So I tried to keep up this image when I came to college um, and I met my Bible study leader at Barbara Crew and I offered my room for our first Bible study even though I'd never been to a Bible study before. I didn't know that people opened up their Bible on any day other than Sunday, um, but I, I learned a lot and I grew a lot through those Bible studies and through the crew weekly meetings, but I didn't really encounter or experience Jesus until fall retreat that year. The theme was all in and the speaker communicated that God is so holy, so set apart, so free of any blemish that we don't deserve to know him. And then he continued with that his standard is so high and he is so great that we are so unclean. Um, he opened my eyes to my sin. He, he showed that every sin is an act of rebellion against God and he explained the price for that sin and, and that's this excruciating death on a cross by the one, the only one who didn't deserve it, and that's Jesus. My eyes were opened to the sexual sin, the judgment, the pride, the selfishness, and the idols that I had in my life that I wasn't aware of. So I laid it all down at my father's feet, and with grace and love, he welcomed me. And I remember, I remember that night sitting and talking with my Bible study leader and I told her that I had never felt so broken and unclean before in my life, but I had also I had never felt so loved and free ever before. Jesus freed me from the chains that, I, that were weighing me down for perfection um, and the desire to be known. He revealed to me that I am more known by Him than I had ever imagined. I used to need others' attention and praise to feel loved um, and to feel wanted, but now <laughs> I just praise Him and I know that I am loved. My purpose for my life used to be for others to know and love me. My purpose for my life now is for others to know and love Him.